departments today. Then following those three departments, the next one we got was the Department of the Interior in 1849, followed by the Department of Agriculture in 1862 under Lincoln. Managing the monetary resources of the United States is the primary responsibility of the Department of the Treasury. Remember, that's one of the first three original departments. Uh, let's see, there's the Bureau of Mint that manufactures coins, uh, engraving and printing, which uh, does paper money. The Treasury Department also receives a variety of other duties. One branch, the IRS, is the largest bureau in the Treasury Department. The IRS is responsible for operating the nation's tax code and collecting taxes each year. In the Department of the Interior, uh, 1849, uh, let's see, it protects uh, lands and natural resources throughout the nation to oversee relations with Native Americans. Mr. Johnson, we have these same notes every day. You need to make this more exciting. I don't understand what you mean. Oh, I get it. I need to make this more interesting. I'll use a Promethean board. Right on, Teach. How does it work? <laughs> using the Promethean board is a very simple class. I'll demonstrate using uh, this content we've been going over already. So, there are four uh, departments in the original cabinet of the United States. in 1789. So, you notice I got this pencil here, that comes from over here, and here, and here. This program is called Active Studio 3 Professional. It's very easy to use, very user friendly. So using that example, originally there was, let's see, we had the Department of War, now called the Department of Defense. I'm going to drag this picture into the program. This was their logo. These are just got off the internet and drag them right onto the desktop and they drag right back into here. Add objects and it shows up. Now you may notice that originally there were four uh, cabinets in the original United States government. You want a logo for the Attorney General, right? I'll show you how I got these other ones. You open up the internet, click on there and I have uh, type in what I want to find. All right, so I have these image results. There we go. See the full size? I can just use it the same way I would use the mouse. Now I can go back to my program and bring this in. Objects. There we go. And I can shrink it and do more manageable size by just double clicking on the picture and it'll bring up these selection things. Double click. Resize. And so let's say I want to organize these in a different way. I can, there's a software called Inspiration that'll allow me to make charts, graphs, um, like concept, web, all sorts of things that will help you organize your thoughts. This is inspiration. these concept maps to help you further understand what it is you're talking about. And that's the uh, beauty of the Promethean board. It's just so simple to use everything because this pen functions exactly as the mouse. And this board is touch sensitive, so it'll pick up exactly what this thing does. And hopefully that'll make our classes more exciting.